down goes Miles Sanders, and here comes the guy that you've been talking about for weeks in Kenneth Gainwell. Yeah, so let's dive into it. Um, Miles Sanders leaves with an ankle injury. Um, evidently, it was reported today that it's one of those that looks worse than it really is. So I would assume he probably misses some time, however, or maybe one, just a couple of weeks. Yeah, we um, But with that, I mean, Kenny G is probably one of, if not the top waiver priority of the week. How much are you going to drop on Kenny Gainwell? So we thought that he was going to take over throughout the year, right? And I still think we're that he's going to at least at some point because Miles Sanders hasn't been super effective and or they're just not running the ball and or Jalen Hurts is just the running back that you want to own there similar to Lamar Jackson and running backs when they get down at the goal line and Hurts I think is leading them in goal line carries um, so I like Gainwell and you, if you look at their fantasy uh, playoff schedule, it's it's pretty solid. I mean, I we're going to do a podcast at some point about this, but Philadelphia's running backs has the sec- currently they have the second easiest playoff schedule down the stretch. They're going to be facing on average the 24th ranked defense um, as far as allowing points goes. So it's it's the second best playoff schedule. So they're facing Washington, the Giants and Washington to end the season. So yeah. they, like it's a great matchup if you can get there and assuming that Gainwell is going to be the guy, you're going to have to hold on to him because he's clearly the receiving back of the two or at least they're incorporating him more than they are Miles Sanders. So this is probably a, a 20% play Unless it comes out that Miles Sanders' injury isn't that serious in the next day before waivers process, and then I'd lower it. But if you've been listening to us, you probably stashed him. Now, maybe if you gave up uh, on him, which I don't entirely blame you for, Jason. I know you did not in our league of record. So congratulations. Good job by you. Thought about it. It was real hard to keep him this week with all these buys, but I somehow figured it out thanks uh, thanks to an IR slot and Tony being able to slide in there for the weekend. Yeah, so I mean, this is probably, I mean, this is probably a fifteen to twenty percent play, um, f- at least for me. I, I don't think you need to go super overboard. Um, and it, with Miles Sanders potentially going to be able to play, you don't want to go too crazy. Yeah, um, you know, I think I'm right there with you. Probably at about twenty percent. It's one of the lower ads. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if somebody spent up more than that just because people are starting to get desperate and fall out of playoff contention. And people yeah. probably also need to get some wins to, you know, have a shot. Um, but he only split carries with Boston Scott uh, when he when he uh, when Sanders did go down. Granted, right. you know, he did have the four catches, 41 yards and a score. That was a nice little receiving touchdown he had against the Raiders um, yeah and Scott was getting the goal line carries uh, when they were down there in the fourth I don't understand it I mean his usage has gone from unpredictable to start the season when in game one he had nine carries to I mean almost irrelevant last week against Tampa he only had uh, one catch for one yard and no rushing attempts so it was really tr- uh, tra- trending away from being useful fantasy wise. And honestly, there were a lot of leagues where he was dropped. Um, he lost about 8% in rostered, being rostered in ESPNs in the last week. So, son of a biscuit. Yeah. Sucks he's for only, those owners. He's only rostered in about uh, 25% of all ESPN leagues. So, he's definitely going to be widely available. I'm with you on that 20% though uh, of fab bid Um, between Jalen Hurts running the ball in and Boston Scott forming some sort of two back committee. um, I'm not super hyped. However, what I will say is I don't think the matchup next week gets any better with Detroit. So he should have a really productive week if Sanders sits. Yeah, right. Exactly. So I, 
I like the the upcoming matchup and the playoff schedule is more of the bid here. Even I, we're assuming Sanders is coming back. So I, if he gets the one week where he gets to face Detroit, then hell yeah, fire him up. And maybe even Boston Scott is worth an ad for zero. Um just to try to snag a goal line touchdown if if you have you know Vegas uh who's on a bye or or one of the Baltimore running backs and you're and you're desperate. 